Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Friday night. I got took some shots earlier, I got a buzz, it's gone. Now I'm gonna get another one. I watched Fury of the Werewolf. Um, to review for the next issue of Night of the Bloody Tapes. Cheers. And, um, it's a weird movie, like, I watched so many movies and like, oh god, it's like, you know, I love, for American Horror, I love the Evil Dead series, Fight of the Dead, Change Mind, Elm Street, and just all the other scattered, you know, street trash, neon maniacs, <clears throat> the animator, you know, the list goes on. But, you know, I'm always looking for more, and then, you, you know, you just have to, like, go to other countries. Uh, of course, you know, Italian horror, Japanese, uh, Hong Kong horror, and then, you know, you get deeper and deeper, you, you go to Spanish horror, and once you get to Spanish horror, I mean, you find Paul Nasty, Paul Nasty, I like to say, and his werewolf movies, and Fury of the Werewolf was the first one I ever saw. I remember I rented it, I recorded it, and it was different, but I was like, oh, this isn't that good. Doesn't make any sense. It's not gory. It looks kind of dumb. But there's something, I guess there was something about it that like it embedded into my brain. To where like I was, you know, and I hear Paul Na Nashke, you know, about his werewolf movies. So like then someone was selling the VHS. I, was, I think I threw my copy away just because it had broke. Like, it, I couldn't watch it anymore. So someone was selling a copy on Facebook or Instagram, and I bought it, and the cover is, the cover, I was like, this doesn't look real, like, when I saw it, because Lunch Meat had made a sticker of it, and like, I was like, what is this? And I found out that's the cover for The Fury of the Wolfman, and I was like, this doesn't look real. But then I found, I got one, I can't remember, I didn't pay too much for it, thankfully. And I watched it again, and I, I think I even watched it on YouTube. But then I watched it again to review, and I was like, this is really weird. Because it's like a sequel to the Yeti, to Wolfman vs. the Yeti, or Wolf Wolfman fights the Yeti. <clears throat> but, I mean, you don't have to see that other one, and you wouldn't even know about it. And then, like... There's this female scientist, oh, I got a burp, who, um, she's creating, like, plant people, and she wants to control the wolfman. I, I think I watched it, but I don't know what the hell is going on. So, the wolfman falls in love with, like, kind of falls in love with, her, her assistant falls in love with the wolfman, with the evil scientist lady, and... He, he goes to her castle, like, she, they capture him, she takes her, she takes him to her castle, and then there's, like, all these, it's a big group of hippies in the, in the dungeon, and they're just, like, having sex, and I think they're smoking dope, and partying and drinking, and then the, the Waldemort Daninsky, the wolfman, he fights a guy in, in a suit, suit of knight's armor, that was pretty cool. Then there's like this Phantom of the Opera looking guy just wandering around. Again, the plant people, which looks, you couldn't even tell. If you didn't know they were plant people, you wouldn't know. Uh, there's a little bit of, and then there's some, there's some cool, um, like, uh, werewolf on the rampage. I mean, nothing, nothing like, like a American Wolf from London or the Howling or... I guess kind of like still not, not, not like silver bullet or but it was pretty cool because my videotape is real crappy looking so, so it just has like a cool grainy terrible look to it but then the werewolf there's parts excuse me I'm gonna take another drink there's parts where he's he's freaking out there's nothing around like there's like a uh, like a bowl, or, I mean, like a a jug, and he picks it up and smashes it. And he's like looking around, like, 
but there's nothing. Like, he's just reacting to nothing. And then in the next scene, he's just like calmly walking down the street. I heard there was a lot of trouble with the film. I read, uh, I listened to a review of it. Like, there should be a movie about the making of this movie. The, the director was like drunk most of the time. He got like his nephew to rewrite the script. He had his son to direct. If that's true, his son is like 14 years old or like just a little kid directing a movie. That, I mean, that's funny. That should be, that's a movie in itself. Uh, there's some blood. There's some cool, cool attacks. Um, but watching it for like the fifth time, I've come to like it more, and I want to get like a good copy of it. From what I hear, it's, it's public domain America, so there's a bunch of DVDs and varying crappy quality. It needs to be like a definitive uh, release of this. Someone needs to put this out in the best quality. Like, 4K restoration Blu-ray, but uh, yeah, this one is just, I've been thinking about this movie, I watched it a couple of days ago, and I couldn't write the review, I was like, I don't know what to write, finally I wrote it, I just wanted to talk about it, maybe get it out of my system, um, yeah, my VHS, it looks, seems like it's gonna die pretty soon, but the cover is co-op, I don't even have that, but, and, I'll put it as a thumbnail so you'll see that. But, um, it's weird because this is the first, I don't know if I said the first Paul Nashke werewolf movie I've seen. All the other ones are way better than Fury of the Wolfman. So why was this the one that I was like, of all the Paul Nashke, Waldemar Daninsky werewolf movies that I found like at Blockbuster or Hollywood Video, wherever I found it, why this one? Why not um, any of the other ones that he made around this time? They all have so many different names. Like, uh, I actually, I have Night of the Werewolf one. This one's awesome. This one's really good. Why not this one? Why not the Yeti one? Why not or um, the Wolfman versus the Vampire Woman? That one's good too. You can. They're on YouTube. Anyway, I'm getting pretty buzzed. But if you like um, 70s weird like European horror movies, um, trying to or just like weird movies in general, I'm trying to think of like um, Messiah of Evil. God damn it, I can't think of this other mo one movie. Um, just in general, just like European horror. And just oh, terrible movies. You might like Fear of the Werewolf. So, get another beer. I got some more shots. So, um, okay, comment if you want. And um, you're my bitch.